Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another anime movie reaction and today I'm going to react to Paprika. Now this is another Satoshi Kon movie and like I've reacted to uh, two of his movies before which is Perfect Blue and Tokyo Godfathers. They were amazing. Uh, if you have not checked it out and if you want to you can uh, find a link in the description box. I'll link uh, my reaction to that. But this is also another Satoshi Kon movie and I think I've heard about paprika before like i like this is one thing like i never heard about perfect blue or tokyo godfathers before but paprika i felt as if i've heard it up heard the name at least but i'm not like i don't know what it is about so i'm guessing it's also a little bit something like psychological in a way uh because the poster the uh, movie poster seemed a little bit weird and i'm guessing like that means this will also be quite psychologically like you know like some type of psychological movie just like perfect blue so yeah i'm looking forward to this so let's see let's see what this is about it's, it's quite high rated as well and as i said i've heard about it before so i'm quite like excited to check this out so yeah without further ado let's get started this is my reaction to the movie paprika so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one, go. Okay, let's. Oh, it's also by Madhouse. All right. What? <laughs> okay. Well, that's not weird at all. Oh, okay. This is a circus that's happening here. Oh. oh damn he's a traitor what Wait, why did the... Oh, God. What the? Oh, my God, what is happening? Huh? <laughs> this is freaky. Oh great, it started. I was waiting for something like this, you know, this type of trippy stuff. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, now what? Okay. Oh. Is there some kind of dream that he's having or something? But who has these type of weird dreams? Oh, 
Oh, it really was dream. It really was dream. Okay. What what is that in his ear? Oh, she also had. Oh my God, the DC. Oh, okay. Oh, he can, he can make a video out of it. That's nice. <laughs> Dream machine. Her voice is very familiar. I can't remember who she is. Is this guy a police officer or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she was also dreaming alongside. Arsi film show. Hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, what was this about? Victim is uh... okay. Yeah, he is a police officer. Slight neurosis. Okay. Konakawa. Okay. <laughs> yeah radio club dot jp paprika oh is that her name whoa okay <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, yeah I was waiting for stuff like this you know <laughs> oh my god uh. <laughs> wow So I, I guess she was also, oh my god, dreaming alongside him and they were connected somehow through that machine. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> He jumped into the shirt just to run away from those guys. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, what the? Hmm. It's that lady in the car. Okay. Oh. Um. Hi there. Are you stuck somehow? Yeah, he's stuck. Oh. Oh my God. How did you even get in? 
Oh! You got stolen. That girl, the paprika girl had a dissing. Internal. Oh, someone from the inside got it. Foundation of Psychiatric Research, all right. Uh, I don't think, yeah. Oh, he invented it? Oh, interesting. Acha, okay. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, please. Psychotherapy machine. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, what? Who is this? Oh. Was this a chairman or some? Yeah, oh god. Hmm. Okay, so he's He's welcome. Okay, so they're for using it and they're he's against it. Yeah, he he's looking at the disadvantage or the bad bad portion of this. Okay. Oh, that name. Oh, okay. Oh my god, he's too excited. What what is it? I, I'm, I, you're not making any sense. Is it just me or Is it just me or is he speaking gibberish? Yeah, he's speaking gibberish. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I, I understand. Oh wow! Oh my god, he's too excited! What the hell? Oh wow! <laughs> okay.
In the middle of it, I was thinking, is he speaking gibberish or am I? Oh. Okay, so, oh boy. Oh, he, he's alive. Thankfully. Oh boy. So he was also connected to the uh, machine, to the DC Mini, that's why. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Desperate terrorist. <laughs> Imuro? Who's that? Who is Imuro? Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my god, he can lockpick, damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Just a sec. What the? Oh! Okay, there you go. Oh, God. That's... Oh! What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What's happening? Um, I think you should have asked, like, no, notified the other two person outside instead of going down in by yourself. Like, the girl kind of said that it's dangerous and... Okay, so what's up with that girl? Like, her name is Paprika, isn't it? She's like an... Oh, great. Wow. Now they're in a weird dream segment. <laughs> she should have just notified the other two person that... Yeah, like... Oh, boy. Oh, great. Oh, wow. Oh wow, she's, she's going after it. Like a weird amusement park. Oh, hello there. Oh god. Oh! Yo! <laughs> 
My God, this she she should have. Allergy. Um, okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> right. Hmm. Oh, okay. I thought she he was going to say that no, I'm not like that. Okay. Interesting. Oh great, now what? <laughs> oh wow. It's that girl, again. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I'm interested. Who is this girl then? Hmm. So she, this girl is trying to help everyone in a way. I saved some time ago. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Um Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. I think so. <laughs> okay, so Paprika saved him. So who is this Paprika then? Like Oh, okay. Hmm. Depression. Oh, so she is okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. 
Oh, he knows him. Okay. Oh, so this Patrick is like an AI or something like that. And this lady is the most. This lady. Yeah, she she's more familiar with her. Oh my god. Hmm. Radio club, okay. Look, one thing I'm quite curious about. Like Patrika doesn't have a real body, so how did she hand over the card to him? I think she doesn't have a real body, she, she looks like an AI or a ghost entity type of thing. <laughs> um. Hmm. No. Okay. Hmm. What the? He's again dreaming or something. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. He has some drama, yeah, against movies. Hmm. What? Oh, wow. Great. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, yeah, obviously, after everything that's happened. Hmm. Retribution. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that is not what he's... Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> hmm. 
one thing I'm, I'm noticing this girl and Paprika's voice are kind of same. Oh, this voice actor, Ai Haibara from Detective Conan. What? Okay, creepy place. Okay, so this is this is a dream sequence that they were having, and now we can see it in real life. Yeah, because obviously, like, ah, uh, okay, I can understand one thing. So Paprika is like some kind of alter ego of her or something like based on her. I'm not sure, but I get the feeling something like that. They even have their voice are quite similar. Paprika and her. Oh my God. There you go. Okay. I, I hope this is not a dream. Okay. It's not a dream. <laughs> because previously like. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What what the hell is that? Oh, there's a Disney mini. Oh my god, it's kind of Oh, great. Oh my god, there's like accidents and everything are happening. Yeah, everyone's getting affected. Yeah. God. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I think she went there to him. Like this. Physically, the card was handed to him physically, and there was Paprika, and Paprika is not a real person. So it must be her who went there, and he kind of envisioned her as Paprika. True, but Okay, well that's going over my head Yeah. 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 That was what I was saying. Hmm.
He's trapped inside a bar. <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> oh no oh my god i hope he doesn't start dreaming now weird stuff are happening yeah oh god oh no Okay, yeah. Okay, what is this? Genius boy. Well, yeah. Yeah, who's going to do it? He's a genius here, so I guess he's the only one left to do something about it. Okay. I don't think that was why he was saying those stuff. I don't think so. <sighs> well, yeah. Oh, wow. Ah, damn. Okay. Wow. Ah. Uh, wait. What the hell was he like? Hmm. 
Oh my god. Okay, yeah. That's what I was thinking, you know, like she is she took the disguise and went there you go. Like I was wondering like how did she like you know like physically hand the card to him? Oh god. Okay. Well, not again. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fourteenth, what? And <laughs> suspense. Oh, wow. Special section. Oh. Oh, wow. Everything's 17. Okay, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, now everything's okay now. All right. Ah. Oh no, he's... It's, it's now as if he shot him. And he must be standing... Yeah. Oh no, is he connecting? Oh my god, that's... Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I also think it Crossing of two uh oh. 
This was what I was saying, like, it's a bad idea. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Narrow the angle to get it. Yeah, he knows so many things about it. I will solve the mystery of him. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh my god, yeah, it, it, it's merging. Yeah, it's Himuro's dream. Not Himuro, sorry, Tokta. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. God damn the like. Oh, oh God, what can I say? This big mistake. He decided to plug in with him. They're not dreaming. Okay. Okay. Huh, well. <laughs> what the? Hmm. Yeah, so, so she's the uh, in dream persona. Paprika's the in dream persona of. Okay. Oh boy. <sighs> How do you stop this? Yeah, like he said something, it's not his dream, it's something else. Someone else is doing this. Or... What is... Oh.
What are these? Oh, oh wow. Oh, is this his dream? Is he doing it? Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, that's... Yeah, that's a face, okay. Oh. Wake her up. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Tok uh, Tokita kind of understood that, like in the beginning. Collective dream. Okay. Oh, okay. Huge delusion. Oh, is it the chairman? I think so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was him. Oh, great. Yeah, they're in a dream now, I think. Yeah, they're in a dream again. Yeah. 
Ah, moi. Ah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god Ah uh, oh she's a mermaid now What the hell? Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, he can't do it. Like, it's not waking up. Oh my god. Oh, what what is this place? Collection of blood butterflies. Oh, what the? Oh. She's still in the dream. Oh, great. Ah. Oh, great. That's not a good exp Wow, she's hitting the nails. What? Hmm, okay, he's still here. In the dream, I'm guessing. I'm drunk. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, it's number 17. Conspiration. Yeah, I was thinking, like, he knows a lot of things to be just a police officer. Yeah, okay, there you go. Oh, 17. Was that the reason why he always sees like someone shooting someone in uh, 17th floor? Like he shot his dream or something? Like he destroyed his dream himself? Something like that? You know, when he saw himself shooting him. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, you know, that's a really interesting concept. Hmm. <laughs> oh um yeah okay I thought Oh, it was the other man. Okay. Yeah, he's shooting him, like, you know, that's why it seems as if he's shooting himself. Oh, God. Oh, he's back here. Ah. Africa. Yeah, because all the dreams are connected. God damn. In here, yes. Ah. God damn. Yeah, this guy, like from the beginning. Oh God. Yeah. Ah, oh. the actual like facade of, not facade, but persona of paprika. Huh. Huh. 
Wow. Okay, okay, thank God he's here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um, that's not the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're fighting against each other themselves. <laughs> yeah, run. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm too anxious to dream. <laughs> well, I, I'm guessing she's she's going to come back soon. Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why are the monkey? <laughs> Yeah, l l run from here. Yeah, how do you get out of this place? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it was that guy. Okay. It was. <laughs> I did not notice it before. It was him. <laughs> I'm the just. Raise. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. Come on, it's, it's time to beat your trauma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got him. Well, obviously, even if it is a dream, it will hurt. Uh, it's over. Damn! <laughs> okay. Nice. Um... <laughs> Unfortunately, that was not the person you were supposed to slap, but you know. <sighs> yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's enough proof. Oh, who the hell is that? Yo, what is that? Oh God, yeah, it is, it is him. Wait. Oh, this is a, in, in dream him, I think so. 
Yeah, it, it is a dream him. He got shot in dream. Wait, how? Oh, okay, this is also part of the dream. Hmm, wow. Ah, boy. I hope so. Oh, yeah, they're still in dream. Run, guys. Okay, who is the mastermind then? Like, I'm really curious now. Uh, I don't think so. Well, mm. <sighs> I wonder if our dreams are also like this, you know, all chaotic. <laughs> Damn, everyone's dream is so distinct, you know, like, it's, it's all the mixture of everyone's dream. Ah. <laughs> it's like, oh great, not again. Yeah. Whole world is. Who are these two people? We always... What what is that? Oh damn. Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> an elephant <laughs> with an alligator. <laughs> oh god. Wow, these are some d really unique dreams. Oh my Uh Oh Oh Paprika's here as well huh. Yeah I'm I'm wondering about that Okay Ho oh. It's as if we're in a dream. Oh my god. Yeah, jump. Jump in. <laughs> oh! Huh. 
Oh wow. Oh. Oh. Huh. Who is that? Is it is it Tokita? That was his name, wasn't it? Or Tomita, what was his name? Uh, Tokita, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. And yeah, I also think you need to first like diffuse the situation like you know like go to the mastermind first Oh, yeah, he is a mastermind uh, Oh damn Um Oh great Maybe a little bit Okay <laughs> I can see that. Other world. To the real world? <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, he wants some paprika. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of the same, like, no, same scene, like it's stuck. <laughs> yeah. This is a limit to it. Oh god, that was a great line. <sighs> yeah.
Okay. Oh boy. Ah, he's back. <laughs> Our chairman. Wow, what an achievement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh! Wait! Oh, is it? She's eating the dream. Okay. Yeah, it's Chiba. Kind of looking like Chiba. Yeah, like, you know, the, the black hair. It looks like Chiba, kind of. Uh, Paprika and Chiba are the same person, so. Oh my god. Oh, gee, she's all eating. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it is Chiba. Okay, well. Mm, disappearing. Ugh. Okay, all the dreams are kind of going away now. I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. Time to go back to the real world. Oof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy, he's like, oh my god, I had a nice nap. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. I almost forgot about it. Yeah, I think it was himself, kind of, in a way. Oh. 
truth that came from fiction. Yeah. Oh my god, they got their hand broke. <laughs> uh, poor. What? Yeah, there you go. Well, oh, Tokyo Godfathers. Are, are these the movies that uh, I think so? <laughs> Dreaming Kids. Okay, that was the end. Alright, this was uh, fairly, like, you know, um, straightforward. I was expecting, like, you know, <laughs> like, I'm myself being unable to understand a lot of things. Because, uh, like, you know, Perfect Blue had a whole sequence where I was barely able to understand anything. Almost at the end, I kind of was able to piece everything together. But this was a lot straightforward and a lot, like, you know, understandable in, in the first try. I could understand it. There were a few like you know uh, confusion here and there but it was fairly simple and they kind of you know explained it by the end of it everything mm. and yeah now this uh excuse me most of the thing here is you know like the dreams that are happening now one thing we can probably understand from this is <laughs> the dreams are nonsensical you know like the way they depicted the dreams like weird stuff happening like uh, you know like like <laughs> like different people's dreams kind of mixing with different people's dreams uh it, it was like chaos so like all those dream sections uh it, it, it was very like you know weird but at the same time like some portions kind of made really sense for example that portion where um i think his name was osanai wasn't it the guy the bad guy uh he like you know the, the, the portion where he actually like you know gets into like puts like you know like i don't know what he did like he put his hand inside paprika and like you know kind of opened her like a zipper and act the actual chiba was inside her like that that like that was not not something nonsensical that was something that was very like you know that we could understand that yeah like it was actually the paprika shell that she was wearing but the inside person was chiba so like these type of portions like these portions made sense but most of the things like you know especially in the dream sections were weird and um, because those are dreams and like yeah another thing i think uh this like you know this movie um did with the oh, what can i say <coughs> what was his name uh, the guy um the police officer guy uh i forgot his name anyways uh the police officer he like you know in the beginning when he went to paprika when i mean like when he was interacting with paprika he was saying something like oh there's been a homicide case and i need to catch the criminal or something like that you know and I was like, oh, so it's like, you know, at that moment, I thought that he was actually trying to find the criminal inside the dream. I was not actually like the fact I, I got aware of the fact that it was not any homicide that happened. It was basically himself killing himself in a way. You know, like when 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 that scene comes in, like before that, like we all were under the impression that it was act. I think, like at least I was under the impression there was an actual murder case that he was trying to solve. But no, it was not. It was uh, his own, like you know, problem, his own, like you know, ins insecurity that he was trying to solve, and that was depicted as a murder scene, as to he himself killed himself in a way, and he was unable to go beyond that. Like, you know beyond that portion 
when when that guy says that like a little bit is left and but he's unable to go forward and he actually realizes that there's a person who is falling on the ground who has been shot and someone is running away and then he actually realized that he's the one person who shot the gun and the person who he shot was himself that means like he shot his himself he shot his dream he destroyed his dream uh, and that is like you know acting as a, a regret that's acting like that that's the biggest source of regret he has and that was the murder case or the, the homicide case that he was trying to solve and it was just himself his own problems that he was trying to solve and yeah i actually realized that in the end like before that i was really thinking that he was trying to solve some kind of case like i was thinking like oh maybe he's actually inside the dream of the criminal or something like trying to solve it i think that's the end yeah all right so yeah that was paprika now <clears throat> obviously uh another fantastic movie um as i said like most of the thing here is like you know the, the comprised of the dream sequences and a few things took a little bit of time for me to actually understand like you know in the beginning i thought that okay like he like you know paprika was like uh i don't know like like another type of a person like when like when we saw chiba like you know, in the first scene when chiba tries to go like you know down the like you know uh what was the guy's name the other guy uh whose in whose apartment they went and chiba went downstairs you know and she got like like stumbled into a dream and she was like almost falling down from the uh, balcony like that scene i know that seems where the time where we actually see that paprika suddenly comes in like you know and says that it's dangerous don't go there now at that moment i thought that okay so paprika is probably some kind of ai or something like, you know who is like you know who who is following uh chiba around you know that was the type of uh thing i thought at that moment but then like when we like then i actually realized that okay like so if paprika is an ai then how did the the police officer guy get the um the card you know uh, that she handed to him you know like she, she does not have a physical body so how did that happen and now then like you know as, as time went on i actually realized that oh it's not an ai i was thinking like paprika was like an ai which kind of roamed around you know in the um like, like you know, throughout the internet world or something and like uh, asko was like the main uh, not asko okay just a sec i'm really i'm getting confused with the names uh just a sec mm. yeah atsuko uh, atsuka chiba yeah uh, atsuko was the person who was you know who was like the main master or something and paprika usually followed her and like you know uh, uh did whatever she told her to followed her instructions uh, I, was, I i thought about uh, like that but then when like you know like we actually realize that no it's not that she is a like a wandering ai it's just like chiba herself is paprika and like paprika is like the persona kind of thing in the dream world which like you know the jacket that uh, chiba wears whenever she gets like, you know into the dream world and uh, like you know solves tries to solve different cases and all so it's like a different identity and in the end like you know i think the reason why we see both paprika and chiba was because like because it's a dream world chiba's personality and paprika's personality that both of the things like you know the the things that they think about and like uh, how like you know they actually look at the world the decision making all of those things they are like very different so it is basically like an online persona like that's one thing that uh, we obviously got to know so that's why in the last scene well, we see both of them actually like you know as two distinct person and both of them actually go towards two different directions paprika actually uh, like you know decides to go and uh, find the real mastermind and stop him 
and uh, <clears throat> Atsuko like decides to help um, uh, Tokita. So yeah, <clears throat> but anyways, so okay, and what else? It's a really interesting movie. I have to say, like it, it's like this is basically like you know like showing how dream like you know you can like the way everything went on it it showed us how dreams can be used in in a lot of good ways as like you know as they said that it can be used to solve no no not solve but it can be used to treat someone you know like if someone is somehow suffering psychologically and i think uh, the police okay what is the police officer's name just a sec mm, konakawa yeah konakawa like and like we, we see how Konakawa was like, you know, was able to solve his problems, his psychology, not psychological, but his inner, uh, like, you know, problems. He was able to solve it. And that, that was because of this whole thing, you know, this, this, uh, uh, this B, the machine, uh, what was that called? DC mini, DC mini, the whole DC mini like technology that they use. It was because of that so we can see that how it can be used to help people but at the same time like stuff like this can also happen you know like <clears throat> like the whole like you know like getting like this is this is a whole psychological department you're getting into like you're, you're diving inside your dream and we could see how weird dreams can be you know like <laughs> like who like like as i said like you know most of the dreams we don't remember and at least like you know the, the dreams which like when we are like deep in sleep uh the dreams that we see we don't remember them and most of them are like that because i think i've i've read somewhere that uh like you know we dream a lot and like 90 percent of that those things we don't remember so <clears throat> so like <laughs> Like, you know, like, so who knows, maybe these type of stuffs are re re happening in our dream, you know, like maybe we're having a par parade in, in the middle of the street with, as we saw, like, you know, weird stuff, <laughs> like, you know, little dolls moving around and like, you know, like, uh, what else did we see? Like, weird alligators, weird elephants, like, you know, moving around. Like maybe that's what happens in our dreams. Who knows? So yeah, it's also like as we said, like it, it, it is very like it can as a medical thing. This could be used in a very like in a good way because like a lot of patients, I'm sure about it. A lot of patients uh, actually suffer from these type of <coughs> psychological problems, and using this technology can definitely help them in a lot of ways. But at the same time, it also has some problems, as we saw. So yeah, they need to like you know like actually actually do something about that like you know the the bad portion of the technology and uh, yeah okay and uh, okay what else mm. oh uh, i was really, like uh, another thing unexpected thing was i was not expecting the chairman to be the actual um you know person behind everything and it kind of makes sense now because as he said that he wants to make this a <clears throat> you know a place which is not invaded by the outside technology and that's why in the beginning he was so desperately trying to like you know for for like telling Atsuko and telling the chief that okay like this is something that you know you should stop doing you should like you know don't go into the, that the reason is pretty um <clears throat> clear now why he was trying to do that and uh, yeah what else mm. <clears throat> nothing else like you know like there's a lot of things that happened but the basic thing was this like you know it's like basically like two like there's like two teams that like actually trying to one team was actually trying to as we saw the chairman was trying to actually control this place like you know become the god of it or whatever the hell he was thinking and whereas like you know paprika and all of them actually stopped the 
one thing I have to say here is yeah it, it was pretty like you know unusual everything but that's expected like this is this is a like you know satoshi khan's movie and as far as as i've like you know seen from the other two movies uh, especially perfect blue um yeah this is pretty normal <laughs> and um but but uh, like as i said like even though this was like you know weird stuff were happening this was a lot more what can i say um easy to understand because here they actually like you know actually they have marked the boundary of what is a dream and what is the actual real world you know like we we are able to understand like we are able to make a uh what do you call it um uh, a demarcation you know as to like well for example the beginning scene like you know the beginning scene we see this weird stuff happening and like you know suddenly they are in a magic show then the weird like you know looking people are like chasing them <laughs> then they're in a tarzan movie then they're in a spy movie stuff all that stuff and um like <clears throat> and then suddenly we like you know see that they're actually wearing a headset kind of thing and that's where we realized that okay like this actually was a dream you know like that they're actually doing it like here is what like when it happens the demarcation is born like, you know we actually get a boundary here that yeah this is a dream this is the real life which makes it a lot easier to understand and like you know in the future whenever we see weird stuff happening we can actually understand that okay this is a dream and then like when something becomes normal again we think that okay this is the real world and then we see, see again weird stuff happening and then we see okay they must have gotten into another dream and we can actually like you know differentiate it whereas in perfect blue the demarcation was not there you know which made it a little bit more difficult to actually understand what's happening because in that scene like when when weird stuff were happening we were actually thinking like okay is this the real world what's happening here what is this like you know, is this some kind of um, like like a part of the real world or is it some kind of delusion that that person is seeing or is this a dream like you know this was the way we like we were thinking but here because of the boundary because of the demarcation it's quite easy to actually differentiate between them and like that's like you know that's what i felt in the end like that's why i was like you know able to like actually understand this a lot easier than perfect blue which did not have that boundary you know and <clears throat> both of them are like you know unique in their own way but i think like you know if i had to like, you know rank it uh, i've probably put perfect blue like you know a little bit higher than this because as i said like this this had an interesting uh what do you call it uh plot but it was a lot uh what can i say mm, simple you know like it was a lot simple but perfect blue had this weird thing where we were like confused throughout the whole <laughs> movie you know and then in the end we actually were able to interpret and guess what's happening and that gave us a little bit more feeling of accomplishment or something like that i don't know like so but like obviously this is this is, this movie is great as well but if i had to like you know actually compare perfect blue and paprika i would definitely put perfect blue a little bit more higher up in the rankings than paprika but this this was great in its own way you know uh, it also had weird stuff in it and <laughs> weird dream sequences <laughs> and it also had a uh, interesting plot because the whole thing with um you know who was the actual uh, mastermind behind it and like the guy uh, what was the guy's name um osanai wasn't it yeah osanai like, you know like i was like in the beginning i was a little bit suspicious of him in a way but then when he saved uh you know um asko i thought that like you know when asko was falling down i thought that okay like maybe this guy is okay like you know and then we actually see him getting concerned about stuff that are that are happening and all that like everything was like i was like okay like maybe i was wrong about him and then in the end we actually get to see that no we were not wrong about him but he was yeah yeah an unfortunate character so like nothing else to do like you know like he 
he could have been a good guy but unfortunately he went too deep into this and he actually lost his way so yeah and in a way his uh, like you know his uh, feelings for Atsuko kind of was the reason why he um, was defeated in the end he and the chairman at the same time because like you know when the chairman was actually trying to kill pa uh, paprika or Atsuko he actually tried to stop him because of his feelings and that kind of gave the opportunity for Konakawa to get in like you know, burst into the scene and save her like <laughs> like in the end like, <laughs> like Konakawa gets in he grabs uh, Atsuko and like he actually sees that like uh, Osanai and the chairman they're like actually struggling with each other like you know one one of them is saying that okay get him kill him and then the other one was saying that no I, I, I can't kill him her and <laughs> You know, they're like fighting against each other and Konaka was like oh my god you guys are weird and then he like just goes away <laughs> like that was basically like what like you know what was like the uh, main the, was the main reason why like they failed to actually do something to paprika and like yeah that also was the reason why Konaka was able to actually save her otherwise they wouldn't like you know he wouldn't be able to do anything because it would take it would have taken a bit of time and even if he was able to bust into the scene he would not be able to take Asuka and get out of that place if they like you know if they were actually working together like chair the chairman and Osanai if they were like you know they had uh, the same intention uh, they would he wouldn't be able to get out of that place uh, so yeah in a way it kind of helped <laughs> so yeah and um, now it was interesting like you know it was interesting to see actually how like you know dreams and everything and also uh the end where we see atsuko and um tokita you know like we see that <laughs> oh my god that that, that line I, I need to check that line again where is that um uh, okay just a sec where, where where she brings him out of the elevator and okay here it is <laughs> you're such a slob and <laughs> just a sec you're fat slow and sloppy it's not the outside that counts but there's a limit to that <laughs> oh my god that, that, was, that was one of the funniest <laughs> oh god but yeah like <laughs> but in the end like yeah like she actually chooses him which was not surprising because i thought like it was going to go in that direction because even though like you know we saw like atsuko and um what was his name um uh, tokita they were kind of like you know not actually interacting with each other and like you know asuko always seemed annoyed at him but like you know like i felt like like i'm sure like most of us who watched this felt that like th there was a different thing going going like you know like there was there was something else uh, in those scenes as well which was like an actual concern for him and also the thing of like you know they, they were acquainted with each other from the past and all those things kind of like you know made me like realize that yeah like 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 it did not surprise me when he she chose him in the end and okay what else and like th another thing that um like i feel better is all these characters like you know like i'm, I'm sure like this guy uh what's his name i always forget his name konakawa you know konakawa even like i'm sure like when, when in the end we know in the ending scene when he says like not only konakawa the the chief what was, what was the chief's name anyways the chief uh just a sec when they get out of the hospital room you know and konakawa and the chief uh, the chief says i guess i've been dumped and konakawa says wait you're serious and like all these characters konakawa um uh, the chief they had like an attraction towards paprika you know 
like paprika was the one that they were actually um you know attracted to but but like you know like this guy here um I can, their names are so oh tokita tokita yeah tokita he like, like you know he did not like it's kind of like really nice to see like as as like you know asko also says that the outside person is not the one you should look at it's the inside that you should look at in a similar way like you know like everyone was looking at the outside of atsuko which was actually paprika paprika was like the outer shell of her so everyone was kind of like you know attracted to her paprika in a way so like it kind of like feels what can i say like really uh nice to see that in the end like those two people actually got together who actually saw the each other's insight for example chiba uh, like you know asko asko saw saw um, like you know loved the uh, osanai's insight like you know the person who he is he she liked him and at the same time osanai was also i'm, I'm sure like you know like preferred uh, asko herself not paprika so it's kind of like you know what can i say appropriate in the end how it ended where chiba actually chooses uh, osanai and osanai i'm not sure i'm sure he also chose her because you know in the end i think like they kind of like hinted that where we see where is it where paprika like leaves a letter for konakawa where just a sec okay this is a message from paprika Okay, where is that portion? Okay. Okay, I also have an announcement. Here we go. Um, okay, here you go. Atsuko's last name will change to Tokita. There you go. Like, it's like... Wait a minute. Yeah, Tokita. There you go. Uh, like, that, that proves. You can't, that proves that like, uh, Tokita also chose her in the end so yeah like they, they were not looking at each other's outside they were actually looking at uh, like you know the person within so it's kind of appropriate in the end for you know them to actually get together whereas konakawa and all the others they were actually looking at paprika which was the outer shell of atsuko so yeah like that's just what i thought think in the end like which is appropriate as an ending Okay, is there anything else? Oh, and in the end, I think we had a little cameo. Yeah, like a little cameo of the other movies of... Okay, there you go. Perfect Blue is also there. And I think the other one is the millennial, uh, Millennium a Actress, I think. That's uh, Tokyo Godfather. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's kind of... Uh... So, okay, one thing I'm still not sure is who, who were those two bartenders? <laughs> like, you know, like, are they like really some kind of entity in the dream world? I think so. Not sure. But, yeah. Alright, that was it. That was my uh, reaction. Oh, okay, another thing. Um, just a sec. the voice actor uh, the voice actress of um, paprika now I, I said this before like i recognized her voice in the end uh, it was uh, i haibara from uh, detective conan and uh, i'm trying to check out who else ah anna <laughs> that's why i thought like where have i heard this voice so much you know, like I already knew that it was Ai Haibara's voice from, like, you know, Detective Conan. But I felt like I heard this voice recently, and I've not heard, like, you know, watched Detective Detective Conan recently. So I was thinking, who is this voice from? It's also Anna from Shaman King, which I'm also watching currently. So yeah, that was really, like, you know, familiar for me. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to. Uh, paprika uh, episode uh, not episode sorry that was my reaction to paprika the movie so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button 
subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out i usually do these type of anime movie reactions every week and uh, every week one movie reaction and next week i'm going to continue like you know on this like you know the whole like i'm doing satoshi Kon movies each and every day so next week i'm going to check out millennium actress it's also another i think satoshi Kon movie yeah and i plan on like you know completing all the satoshi Kon movies one by one uh, every week so next week i'm going to uh, like watch millennium actress so yeah if you're interested check out next like my, my reaction next week as well so yeah guys that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day